Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to work a little bit more on this journal. And this is the flip top journal, is what I'm calling it. It's the one that ha that flips up instead of sideways. And we're using the rings, and I'm using some seam binding, and I'm going to be using lots of seam binding on this. I'm going to fill these rings about halfway full of seam binding. And the reason being is <laughs> I got two huge packs of seam binding from my scrap cabin shop and this is our summertime big bundle set it's all of these look at those colors and i will link her store down below you guys need to go over and grab it this seam binding is the absolute best i have ever used and i know seam binding you're saying well seam binding is seam binding but she crinkles it just right it's not you know, all tied in knots. It's crinkled, but you can still lay it out like you want to. And then this is her springtime bundle. I am in love with this one. And I'm going to use some of these yellows on here and some of the pinks. So go over. The link will be right below. So go over to my scrap cabin shop on Etsy and grab some of her seam binding because you will not regret it i promise you it is well well worth every dime and more okay <clears throat> now i had this little dragonfly that came in the kit i'm going to put that there but i'm going to wait and put it on when i can use a little bit of hot glue i could glue it on with fabri-tac but I'd have to just sit and wait a little while for it to dry. So I'll just put a little dot of hot glue here and a little dot there and put it right down there. I think that's cute. I also put, I don't think these words were on there the last time I crafted. I can't remember if I put those on, on camera or not. But I did add a little bit uh, in there, you can see it, a little bit of our nuvo crystal drops you see around my flowers right there i love that and then i put a little bit in the bird's eyes and then a little just a tiny little bit on their wings and it is let's see if i can find my crystal drops it is this nuvo nuvo crystal glaze is what it's called but this stuff is fantastic if you want just a little bit of shine on something on some flowers or things like that you can use this it goes on a little bit milky looking but it dries completely clear like that okay so i think that's all i did i haven't made all of my journaling cards and everything yet but i wanted to work on a page that i oh last night i had this brain I don't know what you would call it, but it wasn't a brain freeze. It was a little bit of a brain, uh-oh, is what I thought. And I want to do a different page for this. Now, I'm going to have to take it apart because I'm going to have to take that page out in order to be able to use it like I want to. So I'm just going to take my little rings out. That's the good part about the little ring journals. And I need to work on this and finish it because I actually have somebody that wants to buy it. So I need to get it finished for her. Okay. Now I thought about going just right below those little openings. But then I thought, no, nah, that may not look so good. So I'm going to go over them. And then all I'll do is just put another little hole reinforcer on there. It's not a big deal. I'll punch my hole and... So, I think I'm going to cut this at two inches, maybe. Now, I just had this thought last night. I don't know if it's going to work, but we'll see in just a minute. Now, I think I'm actually going to cut it at two and a half inches. Two and a half inches. And then I'm going to cut another one at two and a half inches. And if these end up being too big, I'll just have to cut them down. But I think that's going to work. Okay. So two and a half and two and a half. One of them is going to go here. Like that. And then the other is going to go on this side like that. And let's see. Do I feel like I've got enough room? 
I'm going to cut just a tiny bit more off of each one. I think I'll cut them down to two and a quarter. And I'm just having to play around with this because I've not done this before. It just popped into my brain during the night last night. Okay. Cut off a quarter of an inch and I'll save that for my little flowers that I do. And I think that's going to be, oh yes, that's much better. Okay, what we're going to do is, we are going to, and I need to see about how wide I need my openings here. This is a tag that Betty made for us. It came in your kit. It was the printout. Well, it's a printout, but it also came in your kit. Um, I think I should be able, maybe, let's see. I have to watch my opening there so I should be able to put one there and I'll put a big one down here and a little one in the middle what I'm going for is to have these some side pockets like this but I have to stay away from that so let's go ahead and glue this down we can always come back and glue in the middle but I thought about just uh, stitching in the middle but I don't think that'll work because I'll have stitching on the other side unless I can come up with something to cover that stitching on the other side up we'll see got way out of line on that glue okay now for some reason I have cut this little piece just a tiny bit shorter than the other one but that's okay it still goes to the top and i'm not going to stress over that much this is a non-directional paper so it really doesn't matter well on one side it is anyway so I, somehow or other i get all the way down to here and then i just go crazy with my glue here we go i've got one now okay so now they are they're down just glued around that way I'm going to go ahead and punch my holes just so I don't forget to punch them in there. And I know I'm using my whole punch upside down, but it's a lot easier for me to see that way. Okay, so we've got our holes back in there. And let me grab my hole reinforcers. And I'm just going to go with the brown ones. not going to worry about coloring them. You can color them with an ink if you want, but I'm not going not gonna to worry about it. Now we have that. And what I want to do is these tags I want to put in. I want to put one there and then one over here on this side. And then I want a little tag here and here well i say little it won't have to be little with it it can be the same size will it with it i cannot talk today let's see these may be too wide these are really wide ones yeah all right what i'm going to do is choose a couple of these tags and i'm going to cut them down i'm just going to use them that way i'll cut this one down a little bit on each side And see if that will work for me it's still a little bit big and that's about as high as I can go with that well no it actually fits in there perfect so let's go ahead and trim this off now I was just gonna put some small ones in the middle but now I'm thinking I'm gonna put regular size I really think I'm just gonna use this size and not even glue the edges in there just that'll just be some different little tucks so let's go this way let's put that one there that one there and then this guy down here I like that I think that's pretty let's go ahead and punch a hole in this one and put a little ink around it and hmm, I think you can write on that I shouldn't have to put anything on the back I think I'll let the person, if they want to put something on the back, they can, but a black pen would work great on the back of that. So I don't think I'll have to do anything there. But I do want to put something on this tag and maybe a label on this tag because this one's really plain. Okay, I've cut these little tickets out and this also was in your 
printout that came in your kit. And I think I'll put that there. Then we'll put something else on there. This one, I want to tone down this just a little bit. So I think we'll just use some vintage book page. And this is some that we got in our AJ kits. So we're using a little combination of each. And I like to tear it where the white, because this has a white core, this paper does. And I tear it where that white shows. And then ink it, and it looks really good, I think. I think, anyway. Well, look, I tore that way too big, did I not? It's okay, we'll tear it down. Yes, that works perfect. There we go, we've got that toned down a little bit. And then I want to put something on here. I think I'm just going to cut right down through here. This is actually another tag, but I'm not going to use it right now. I may use it later. I may use a piece of it later anyway. We'll put that there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. I got something in my mind, so we'll see. See if it works. We'll put that right down through there. And I don't mind that these don't match up. That doesn't bother me. But if you wanted them to wanted them to match up, you could just cut that edge. But that doesn't bother me. Looks like I got a layered tag on a tag, and that's okay. Okay, we'll punch that out again. And then I'm just gonna use let's see what colors I have in here. I got a blue hole reinforcer, and all I do with these is I just dye them with my ink. I just take my ink pad and go over them. That's that's it. Not anything. Not anything major. Okay, so we got that. I don't mind that blue. It's a little bit bright, but it's okay. And then I think I'm going to put a little piece of washi right down through here. So I'm going to grab this washi. Just want a little faux piece. And someone sent me some faux washi the other day, and I have put it up for myself. I have no clue now where I put it. I'll find it. It's here. It's just I put things up and I forget. You know, this is some washi that we got in a kit a while ago. And I'm just going to use a piece of this. I like to tear it down because I don't, I don't want it that wide. So I just tear it. And then we're just going to go right over where that washi was. See, that's the washi that was on there. And we just go right over that. Now we can put our little ticket here. Oops. Splatter glue everywhere. There we go, and then we need a label. I think I might stick this on, but I'm gonna ink it up a little bit. Let's see, is that gonna look way too big? Let's ink it and then we'll see. It may be too big, I may have to. This was printed with white, and I don't really want white on there. We may have to do something different because that may be too big. No, actually, that's okay. And it just says promise and then there is that so we'll go ahead and stick that one back in oh we need to put some seam binding in i think i'm going to grab this beautiful yellow seam binding and maybe a pink Ooh, that's pretty isn't it so yellow pink Maybe that color green. Yeah, that'll work. Hey, I'm not having any problem this time finding the ends. <laughs> oh, I me! Mean, last time I had so much trouble finding the ends, but it was just me. I wasn't looking in the right place. But, the, I mean, this seam binding lasts you a while. But look how cute it looks when you put it in your tags. I mean, it's just the right crinkle, isn't it? Let's put the green in the middle. 
Oh, I need still need to do something to this tag. Okay, I think I will put this little piece on there. It's just a little label. This is out of the Tim Holtz Curator, I do believe, collection. And it's just small labels, which is good for something like this because you need small labels sometimes. I have plenty of larger labels, but sometimes you need some small little pieces of ephemera. And that's what these are. And then I thought I would put that butterfly up there, but now that I put that label on, the butterfly doesn't go. So let's try this one. Yeah, I think that one will go okay. Remember to take your bone folder or whatever it is that you have and press that down really well. And usually that little part that's around it, the little white part or cream part, it won't show. It looks like it's all made into the paper. Okay, come out. See, I try to save the seam binding and not put too much in there. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that cute? Oh, this way. Okay, and then this one. Let's put a label or something on there, though. And I'm going to grab, let's see if one of Tracy's labels will work. And every time I open this little binder, I have people ask, where did you buy that? Do you have a video for it? I do have a video on all of my ephemera binders that I have made, and they're in my playlist. So all you have to do is go to my playlist and just look up ephemera journals, and you will find it. Find all of them. I've made four, I do believe, and all of the tutorials are there. I think I may put a number on here. These are Tina's numbers. Tina Shabby Dabby Doo Dah on Etsy. Yeah, I don't mind that. It's almost the same color, but when we ink around it, it'll make it pop a little bit more. And it's got black in it, so that black is going to pop. And then let's put this pink in this. And you can do this particular style page with your big journals too. Doesn't have to be just a small journal like this. And I say small, this is not teeny tiny, but you know what I mean. You can do this on any of your journals. It just gives you lots more journaling space and I think it's cute. Now I do want to do something here. Okay, I pulled out some of our, this is our Vintage Labels Washi, and it is assorted washi tape, and it is the curator, and they're labels. Other than that one, and that one's a stitch, but the rest of them are labels. This is the other one. It has a little cutting thing right here, but I'm bad about just pulling them out and, so that I can measure. I'm trying to get it right down the edge. It's pretty sticky, so I don't think you'll have to use any extra glue on it, that's for sure. I'm trying to get it right down the edge. And this may look weird to you, but I kind of like it. <laughs> I kind of like the, you know, it's got flowers and everything there, so I kind of like that look. And then I'm going to put some on this side. Let's see if we can get this one straight, maybe. We just got in more of these, if you want one. I know some people had asked me, was we going to get in any more? And we did. We just got them in. We also have more of this, this one coming. And this is the, let's see, a Vista. We have more of this coming as well. So all of those are being restocked. They sold out so fast that um, we had to restock them and we couldn't get them fast enough. Okay, I need to trim this off just a little bit. All right, I'm happy with that page. Maybe I wasn't out of frame. My camera has been moving on me. Of course, it could be that I bump it every time I turn around, but... So that is going to be our page there. I kind of like that. That's fine with me. 
and we can put that back on here that was our back page that goes like that now that one all we need to do is make some little tags to go in here and then this one we didn't really do anything on but I do think I want to stamp a little bit on this one now I did stamp this butterfly and I stamped that on well it's a moth and I stamped that on one of the paper collections so I think that'll be pretty there put that down there I also did this one stamped it on just the brown paper and then I put a little bit of that crystal glaze on there Let's stamp a couple of little mushrooms, see what they look like. Now this one hasn't been used, so I just condition it a little bit by rubbing it on my arm, my hand. Just need to get a little oil on there and then your ink sticks much, much better. I think I want my little mushrooms down here at the bottom. This ink that I'm using may not work. We need probably need to do a trial run on this. It is, oh yeah, that looks okay. It needs refilling, so. And this is Memento Rich Cocoa is the name of it. That's a little bit light on that, but it's okay. I can color it in with my markers if I need to. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. I don't know if I want another one there or not, though. Let's kind of mask that one off, and we'll put another one just a little bit lower. See if that works. It looks like it's in the background. It's okay. All right. And I know you can cut out a mask and it works better, but we're going to go with that. I can, like I said, I can always draw some of that in. So that doesn't worry me. Let's do this stamp on there. I don't have a stamp like this. So this will be fun to use. Now you need to lay your stamp down and let it relax a minute, especially when it, you haven't used it before. Because when you tear them off of that plastic, a lot of times they get warped a little bit. So just kind of sit it down. And I think I'm going to grab this. This is, what color is this? Spanish Moss. Now this is an outline stamp, so we're going to be real careful and not get that ink in the center of it as careful as we can now I didn't condition this so let's go ahead and stamp it first and see what it looks like yeah that works it's okay see when you press real hard you get that ink in the middle and then it will transfer off onto your paper. So the best way to do this is bring your little ink pad to your stamp and just tap it lightly. Okay, that goes like this. Oh, I like that. Cute. See? I don't mind that at all. Stamp that off. And then I think just for fun, <laughs> just for fun, we'll, we'll use these little pieces. I really don't know what they are, but we'll use them. They look like just little stars or something. And they're going to be light with this ink, and that's okay. Oh, yeah, I like that. So 
like a little starburst, doesn't it? Cute. That dresses up our page. Let's go ahead and put a couple down here. Maybe even coming out of the flowers there. Just to give it a little bit more interest to this page. Alright, I think that's enough. Stamp that off. Cute. I think Melina said we do have more of these stamp sets coming in because a lot of people, when she used it on her video, a lot of people had requested one. So I think she's ordered more of these. And they are, they're called Fernwood. And it's American Craft Fernwood. All right. Do we see anything else we need to do? You know, I think I want some more leaves. You know, when I get started stamping, I don't know when to quit. I think I want more leaves on here. So let's do a few more leaves and let's do in the do it in the green. Cover that one up. Green. Let's grab a stamp block. And we'll lay our little leaf down the right way. Let's see. And then just tap. And I'm just going to put one coming out from here. <laughs> oh, this may look crazy to some people, but I kind of like it. Whoops. Didn't get that one, did we? Okay, we're going to try to go right back. There we go. It worked. That's a good thing about clear stamps and stamp blocks. I'm sorry my paper keeps sliding this way. I don't know why it's doing that. Maybe me. That's cute. I like that. Okay. I don't think I'm going to do anything else. That's a lot of stamping on there, Edith. So we'll stamp that off. Get our little ink up. And then we need a word to go in here. Now, I'm going to use this 49 in Market. They're Gabby's Words. I have looked for these everywhere, and as far as I know, they're not available anymore. So, I'm not sure where you could get them, or even if you could. I've checked with 49 in Market. They don't have them. Um, I've checked on Amazon. I've checked everywhere, and I just can't find them. So I apologize for that, but I've had mine for a long time. Gabby, I can't remember her last name. It's a it's a different last name, and I cannot remember it. But she is the one who designed these. And let's see. I think all it says on it is Gabby's words, I believe. I think that's all it said. But I love them. This is her handwriting. She has a YouTube channel, or did. I haven't seen a video from her in a while. But she has a YouTube channel. Ooh, I got it a little crooked, but I still like it. Isn't that pretty? If I could write like that, I'd be writing all the time. So, I'm, hopefully you guys can find them somewhere. And like I said, I think they're just called Gabby's Words. I do, do believe... But it's, uh, yeah, Gabby's Word stamp set, 49 in market. So you might Google that or something and see what you can find. I mean, they're, they're fantastic. I love mine. Love my set. And if I could find them for you guys, I would definitely, definitely make sure that you had one. All right. I think, now I may come back later and... You know, color in my little mushrooms a little bit. But right now, I'm going to leave that as is. That's good enough right now. Okay, we've got that pocket on. That one on. That one on. Okay, we wanted to do a pocket on here using this envelope. We used the envelope in the other direction, but I wanted to use one in this direction too. Because I want to give a lot of writing space let's see maybe that let's put that there and then i have something else that i'll come back and put in the center of it wow this video may not go up until 10 o'clock it's already uh, seven o'clock here this new time is has me messed up all around 
and I got a late start today because everybody was gone to the camp meeting but me <laughs> so I have been doing all of the all of the work here so I got a really late start in doing my video and I didn't have one ahead I've got to get some ahead but I didn't have one ahead today so I just had to do what I had to do Maybe if it goes up at 10 o'clock, somebody will watch it tomorrow. And you can see on my desk what a predicament I get in when I'm crafting. I get everything out. I can't stand to have one thing put away. And I don't want to take the time to put something away when I'm crafting. So I just lay it here and lay it there. Okay. So that's what we're going to put on there. Now since this is going to flip out, we're going to need to cover this side as well. And I think I might just cover it with this piece. That's going to be exactly the size, so I'm just going to use it. Use it up. Well, exactly the size this way anyway. Be a little long. So what have all of you guys been doing? Um, my videos have been a little sparse lately. I know that, but I'm just having to try to get things done before my surgeries. And I know some people say, well, you can just bounce right back, you know, from your surgery. And the next day you can go right back to work and all that. And I don't doubt that at all. But I work, most of my day is on the computer. And my doctor has already said, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't need to be in front of a computer all day long once I have the surgery for at least a couple of weeks. So I'm going to have to, and you see what I did, didn't you? So I am going to have to do something else. I can probably do my videos with no problem. And yes, I put my glue on this instead of the envelope. Always put your glue on the envelope when you're on the back side like that. But... I got it opened up. It's okay. I'm going to cut these little pieces off because we don't need those. And then I'm just going to ink down through here like I did on the other one. Now this is going to go like that. So I need to cover this, but I'll cover that in a minute. And I'm not going to fool with putting any paper here. That's why I inked that. So that's going to be just like that. And it's going to be little side pocket side flip pocket and then this side will be a little pocket and I'm not going to take that off I'm just going to leave it on there if I take it off I'm going to have to put another piece of paper on it so I'll just leave it there so then we have that that flips out I took there and then on this one what I thought I would do is where is it there it is thought about putting this down but that's not quite big enough okay this is one of the pieces that comes in the kit and so is this I think I'll put that down and that can be another little tuck pocket and what I'll do is well I could just put that in there but I'll make some tags for my pockets not gonna do it right this minute but we'll make some for it and we could put that butterfly on there since, well, moth, since we got butterflies back here. Let's just do that. Okay, so that is that. We need a little piece here. And let's see if I have a scrap piece that we can use. That will go there. Ooh, that's going to be too much yellow. Ooh, that would be pretty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That will be pretty if I can. Okay, it's the right height hmm it's a little bit wide but I think I might just glue it down and let it be yeah I think that's what I'm gonna do because this pocket kind of curves in or this flap does and this doesn't and I think I'm just gonna leave it that way I'm going to put a little pull punch in this. Let's see. That weighs the right way up. 
and we're going to glue that down there now we are going to put glue on here and not on our paper you want that glued down real well okay oh yeah that works all right perfect and you can't even tell that that was a flap of an envelope and then you have your little side pocket here so that is that one and I think that may be all that we do on the video today I've got a couple more things that I need to do but you know the video is already getting long it's getting late and by the time I edit and try to get all of these up it's gonna be even later so what we're gonna do I'll put everything back together I'll take a couple of pictures and I'll put those at the end of what we did tonight and then I'll come back and do a flip through when everything is completed. How does that sound? All right, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed making the three pages that we made. Let me grab the other one under here. Three different pages that we made. These can be used in your journals. Anything that you have, you can use these same uh, designs in there if you'd like I mean it doesn't have to be a journal like this but I just wanted to show you this this is what I, I woke up thinking about this morning doing a little page like this so I wanted to show you that design it's just something a little bit different and I like different you know that and we will talk to you guys later don't forget to give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button bye bye